morning, everyone. All right, so we have our first view of the day, Knife's Edge here in Pennsylvania. So we got an early start this morning. It's only, I don't even think it's 7.30 yet. We've done about almost two miles. But this is just gorgeous. But here's the rocks. And this is the trail. So you see the white blaze here. So it goes up there where you see MCA. So you're climbing up these rocks. There's another white blaze there. It's amazing up here. Absolutely amazing. All right, guys. So one of the problems that we're going to have today is water. Water is kind of sparse for the next 20 miles. So we uh, take that into consideration. And one of the reasons why we got why we got done or got up and got early is because we wanted to beat the heat because we know that there's going to be a lack of water and we're going to have some big water carries, which is okay. We just, as long as you know it in advance, it's a, it's a good thing. But uh, we're probably going to try to do a legit 20, maybe a little more today. Um, we were only about 48 miles from uh, Delaware Water Gap from where we camped out. So that's our big push is get there and then get into New Jersey. All right, guys, I'm going to keep taking you with me. Stay on for a chapter two so we are on the top of bake oven knob it's 1595 feet up and this is your view this is spectacular oh the clouds are perfect in the sky oh this is just nice Of course, once again, we're on a bunch of rocks. And they had this roped off. We talked to uh, one of the trail maintainers. He said we could go underneath the, uh, the rope. They've been trying to clean off all of the graffiti off all the rocks, which I don't know why anybody would do that, but okay. But anyway, so there's rock everywhere. Man, this is just beautiful. All right, guys, I'm gonna keep taking you with me. Stay on for the ride.
Hey guys, chapter two here. So, change of plans. So we're in a section on the AT in Pennsylvania that doesn't have a lot of water sources. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna end up walking about a total of 12, maybe a little over 12 miles into Palmerton. And then we're gonna stay with some people that are hikers. Uh, they allow hikers to stay uh, for free and you can do your laundry, take a shower, charge your electronics, uh, and then get back on the trail tomorrow morning at 6.30. Because out of Palmerton is a 1,500 foot climb. So we don't want to do that in the heat of the day, A. And B, once we start again in Palmerton, we are about, there's about a 20 mile section where the water is questionable. So we'll be cambled up and be full on water. So just FYI, one liter of water weighs 2.2 pounds. So I generally carry two liters, two liter bottles on me. When I'm climbing and know I have water, I only carry one liter of water. Uh, but tomorrow I'll probably be carrying two liters. So that's 4.4 pounds. So, so that's the plan. We've seen some great sights today, which you'll get to see on the video. Um, some great overlooks, uh, a lot of ferns, just to, to, to it, and the weather is beautiful. The high today is supposed to be 72 degrees, um, and it's just nice and clear. It's just been a gorgeous hiking day. So, all right, guys, that's what's going on. I'm going to keep taking you with me. You stay along for the ride.